what is the acceptable length of a voiceover demo today in the 21st century, and what should the contents of that demo be made up of and why? If it's a singular demo, it's 90 seconds or less, generally. Um, I think the interesting thing is, nowadays, a demo, what's more important to me is, is a website these days, in that on a website, you should have a compilation because people still want that. But you could also start to show the colors of your various reads. And you know, if you've got if you're someone who does amazing legal copy, you do your little legal de legal demo. That I mean, no agent. If, in, in, you know, in the past, when you had to get me to listen to one thing, you you had to make a choice. You'd have to cram that legal into a spot that had you know comedic reads and had you know a signature read in terms of you know maybe it was a, a big you know. Um, uh, image read for a major corporation and you had to try to get it all in one thing. Now I think you can certainly show the various skill sets and colors that you have on one very well presented, very simple, very direct website. So it's, it's changed a lot because you, in the versatility of editing and whatnot, I don't think any talent, if they're smart, should feel locked into, oh my god, I've got to get it right with this one demo. I mean, you've got to get it right. Don't put stuff on there that no one wants to listen to because you've got seconds. I mean, once we hit play, um, you've got three to ten seconds tops, you know, to, to capture our attention. So I'm, it amazes me when people open with bad spots on their demo. Done. I'm talking three seconds. One, two, three. And that actually feels a little long.